dear colleagues, distribution and dealer partners around the world. This is Hubertus from our offices in Burridge, USA, and today is Monday, March 16. Currently, we are overwhelmed with information around the pandemic, I know. However, I felt it was important that you hear how we at CNH Industrial are dealing with this pandemic and also to remind ourselves of our responsibilities as a manufacturer of mission critical capital goods that help society to function. It is our products and solutions that serve our corporate mission to help feed, connect and protect people on our planet. Facts first. As the most recent data reports, and as you hear daily in the news, the COVID-19 outbreak has now officially become a pandemic that is spreading to numerous countries around the globe and is affecting thousands of people. And yes, each region and country will be affected. And yes, it is worse than a normal flu. However, the good news is that there will be a cure and a vaccination at some point in time. That brings me to the second point. In order to gain time for medication to develop, we have a possibility to slow down the infection process by applying strict health and safety measures. We do this in order to gain time, time for a treatment or vaccination to be developed. Speculations about when such a cure will be found range from as early as May, June of this year to as late as end of next year. Third, the fact that CNH Industrial is a truly global company helps us, as we are learning from countries that have been infected first or hit hardest, such as China or Italy, where we have facilities. We are applying the do's and don'ts and learnings in terms of health and safety protocols to the other regions that will be hit next. So please strictly follow the protocols and suggestions that we or our local government hand out and take them seriously. Also, please note that all CNH industrial recommendations have been developed by our global Corona risk task force and colleagues who know both what they are talking about and why they are making specific recommendations. Force, and this is a key nuance that differentiates CNH Industrial to other companies. While we are cleaning up plants and offices and while we are adopting safety critical practices and processes that limit the spreading of the virus, it is very important to remember that we do all this with the clear conviction that we must make sure that we can support our machines and vehicles in the field and on the roads with parts and service, and that we are able to provide new equipment to those end customers that serve critical functions to society. Because as I said in the beginning, our products and solutions help to feed, connect and protect people in our local communities globally. Obviously, if we see demand dropping in some of our segments or end markets, we will immediately react, adjust production and temporarily shut down a facility if there is no demand. But this is not the case right now. Actually, it's quite the contrary in some markets where farmers need to start planting and logistic companies need to get products through the distribution centers to the retailers and to your doorstep. Another point of note, our supply chain is under enormous stress. Some suppliers have shut down or suspended output at their facilities, which has enormous ripple on effects to us and other OEMs. We are managing the situation as best as we can, but we will experience supply shortages as we go through the next months. Having said that, please be reminded that we prioritize parts depots and we have inventories in stock that are available to the markets. Finally, as this is a humanitarian crisis that appears to be following the same patterns of other pandemics that the world has seen in previous centuries, it is important that we step up as human beings and remind ourselves of what we can do to help, to show global solidarity and support. So please keep yourselves, your colleagues and your loved ones safe 
and support the communities in which we operate. Thank you all for showing your very, very best in these turbulent days. Take care, and I talk to you soon. This was Hubertus from Burridge.